welcome back and today we are going to be clipping popcorn because it is just that time of year where they just need to have all of this teddy bear fluff removed because otherwise popcorn is going to be sweating every time we write him because it's not nice if like he's got all this fur on and it's basically like us doing a marathon or like doing what they do with like 10 fluffy jumpers on and a coat, isn't it? Yes. So we're going to be clipping him and we've got the liveryman professionals coming down today. So he's going to be looking a bit better than we clip him. Um, because there's always that thing when we clip him that's just a bit willy wonky. So the first step of clipping is having a very, very clean pony. So this is either bathing uh, or having a very, very good groom. In this case, we're gonna have a good groom because he's dirty. So I'm gonna use a dandy brush, a body brush and a magic brush. But yeah, this is just gonna flick off all the dirt. The body brush is gonna get rid of all the grease and this is just to get rid of all the little dirt spe spectacles on his skin. So I'm going to go over with this to get any of the hard dirt off. And there's still a bit of grease or poo poo on there. This is a really, really, really important step because preparation is key. Because you don't want to be clipping and then you like find this really hard piece of dirt that you didn't know that was there. And then like it's stopping you clipping and it's not a smooth run. So just going to get all the dirt off. Pop, we've got a big patch here of what looks like dried up mud or grease or something. And he's also got a bit of shavings on him. So we're just gonna brush those off. So I'm gonna go with this. I think he's just been really itchy. I think he's been itching himself. Popcorn slobber. Look how fluffy he is under here. Oh my gosh. Look at that. And that would be where his girth goes as well. So now Popcorn is all clean and ready for the professional. You ready, Popcorn? I think he's raring to go. So this is Lisa, everyone, and you have clipped some very, very special ponies in your time, haven't you? I have indeed. So I have been lucky enough to clip horses for Hoys, Olympia, uh, the Nations Cup. I've also clipped for European teams, so people that have gone over wow. to compete for the GB teams. So I've oh been quite gosh. lucky to clip some quite high quality horses. Yeah, they sound yeah. like very high quality. Yes, Pokemon's so I've been very lucky in that respect. Pokemon's high, high quality, very high yeah. quality. Yeah, well all horses will be clipped the same, regardless if they've won gold or if they're yeah. just hacking around the block, they should all be clipped the same. Uh, and it's really we have to be really careful we use the right blades, that we don't take them too short and we don't want to burn them because sometimes when people clip incorrectly, blades can heat up. So every, when you come to clipping, you've got to do everything properly. Yeah. Um, and we'll start off by starting to show you on popcorn what we do. I'm going to give you the Liverman Harmony Plus. Thank you. On the Liverman Harmony Plus, we've got the new A5 4.8 blade. So this blade is a blade that will cut longer. So um, popcorn won't lose so much of his colour. Because sometimes palominos can go really pale after you've cut them. So we're going to use a longer cutting blade to hopefully give him more of his natural colour. So I'll start off and then you follow. Okay. Yep. So when you first start clipping, it's always ideal that you oil your blades properly. So once you've oiled your blades along the top and in the sides, because you have to remember the blades are a moving part. So they need oil for lubrication, otherwise they heat up quicker and the blades will go blunt quicker. So once you've oiled your blades, you check they work, so turn them on away from the horse. These are really quiet, so you're quite lucky. It's always good to start on the lower part of the shoulder or slightly further back on the belly if your horse is particularly sensitive on a bony part. If you start too high, you have to think about when horses lived in the wild. So if you were to go here, if they lived in the wild, you think about a tiger or any kind of predator jumps on them from behind and goes up high. So yeah. if you go to them up high with a pair of clippers, they're going to be scared. Yeah. So you must start low, either on the shoulder or on the belly. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to turn them on. We're going to give them a pat. We know he's good to clip, so we don't have to be too wary. And we're going to place them on his belly, so he's going to get used to them. Just let the vibration, let him feel the vibration on his skin without putting the blade on him first. And once we know he's not too worried about that, we can put the blade on 
and go through the comb. Oh my gosh, that is so much fun! Popcorn! So there we go, we're going to go up through his coat. And oh when my you're clipping, goodness to make gracious sure me. you get the most even finish, you must always overlap the part that you've clipped before. So as you can see, I've clipped this bit, so the blade is going to go sit on the bit we've clipped and next to it, so you never leave any lines. So, so overlap the, so put them, so the, that's it, like that, and then go up. Oh my gosh. Oh my so gosh, I've, hold, I've got done, I've not done deep enough. So if you follow what I do, you see, so the machine is like this, it's flat yeah. against the horse's skin, you press gently. That's so satisfying. And up you go. And then you can stroke it off afterwards and you can see you're left with an even finish. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. <laughs> He's going so dapperly again. Keep the pressure even on the machine. Well done. Ooh. That's all right, you can't hurt him. Keep going. It's better than my first attempt. Clipper blades are designed that you, you shouldn't ever be able to hurt the horse and so never, never be afraid that you'll hurt them. So keep the, the pressure nice and even. So if you overlap it all the time, you'll never be left with any clip lines. It's only when you don't overlap it you'll be left with clip lines. Oh, I forgot how fun this was. <laughs> Do you want the saddle patch or are you taking it all off? Take it all off. Okay. So you keep going on that belly. Remember, keep the pressure nice and even on those machines. And you can leave it on, you don't have to turn it off because they're designed to keep running, okay, Harlow? Okay. So they won't get too hot, they'll be fine. So when we need to, in a moment, we'll have to oil them again. So we, yeah. we would oil them sort of every. 10 minutes maximum to make yeah. sure the blades run cool. Oh, you've already done that much. <laughs> You're so fast. I do a lot of this. And when you've got horses that have to have sleepy juice, you, uh, you have to be fast. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try and do one of those things that I see online, like the hair goes in kind of like a sushi roll shape. Please, I can't do it. Can you show me, please? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, that's such a clean run. <laughs> that was so satisfying. I'm gonna try on this bum bum. I think I'm doing it. I'm going to show Pop on the sushi roll. Here is your sushi roll. Because we've been clipping now for a little while, oil, go across the top of the blade, like that, in at the sides, in at the sides. So go along the top. That's it, in at the sides, and in at the sides. Super. Gets rid of some of the hair as well. And it makes it so now we can carry on clipping about the machines getting too hot. Okay. <sighs> That's not a good idea. Oh, I s ugh. <coughs> got fluff all in my face. And when you're doing your legs, so can I do my blending? It's important that I never sit on the floor. Yeah. So if you sit on the floor, you're quite, you're leaving yourself open to quite a dangerous accident if the horse was to suddenly move. Yeah. So I always tend to balance and then your legs get tired, you just have to stand up and give them a bit of a wiggle. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've discovered Popcorn's dirt. <laughs> On his bottom? Yes. Yeah. He looks where, a bit like a zebra. That's where they roll, isn't it? And they get all the, the dirt goes on top of their bottom. Ah, oh, zebra Popcorn. <laughs> that's where they give themselves a good rub when they're rolling. Yep. I've yep. come across a little 
play oh. fight scar. What should I do with about that? You can still go over scars. You have to be very gentle. But in situations like this, when the hair changes direction, you have to change direction with your clippers too. Yeah. So as you can see, the hair starts to go up and round. So with your clippers, you have to go come from up and down because you've got always, when you clip, you always have to go against the hair. So you're going to go up and down. Yeah. So watch where the, which way the hair goes, and you go up, follow it round, and down. Just be very careful if you've got a tickly horse, because this area can be very tickly for horses sometimes. Up and down. Yep, see, then you follow the hair, and you catch all the hair, because if you try and go against the hair, you won't pick it all up with your blades. So when you come to scars, you can go over them if they're healed. Just go very gently, just in case they're a little bit cautious where they've been injured in the past. So you'll have a little bit more, hold a little bit more pressure on the machine there. There you go. See, you pick up the hair better. You just have to have a little bit more pressure. Don't be afraid, because they're very small machines. So that way, well done. They're very small machines if you think about the size of the horse. Would he need a rug on tonight? Absolutely. When you first clip them, it's really important that you rug them quite well for the first night or two. Yeah. If you think about all this fluff he's had on his bottom and on his body, yeah. to keep him warm, you've taken that all off. Yeah. So make sure you rug them up sufficiently on the first night or so, and yeah. then monitor the temperature. The most important thing to remember, really, is they're not people, they're horses. Yeah. So they're not going to be as cold as we are. Yeah. So you don't need to over rug them. But when you first clip them, they do need a little bit of help because you have taken all, all of their pyjamas. Yes. What I'm doing here, Harlow, is I'm blending the leg. So when you blend the leg, what it's doing is basically thinning out the hair. Yeah. By turning the teeth to face the horse and thinning the hair out as you go down. This is a really good way of leaving the bottom of the leg on so they've got lots of protection from the elements. Yeah. But without leaving the, the leg line at the top that some people don't really like. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with having a leg line, but if you are, you're showing a native pony that you're not particularly meant to clip, you can blend them all round. So you can blend their main lines, you can blend the tail, you can blend the head and the legs, and you get left with a horse that's clipped but looks unclipped. Yeah. With my blending, I've got the Liverman Novas, which is another super machine. It's in the same range as the Harmony Plus, so they're all from Liverman. On this, Harm on this Nova, I've got the new 3mm blade, so it cuts longer. This sort of blade is ideal for blending off a longer cutting 4.8 blade because you've got a lot more room to play with. Some of the shorter cutting blades were just cut too short for when you're blending. So this is the Living Manova with the new blade, as you can see, is making lovely work of blending his hair in. When you're blending Harlow, especially on the back legs, as you can see, horses have got veins yeah. that run across the leg. So when you're blending, just be very careful that you don't think this is hair, because it's not hair. And some people can have a tendency to overwork the area, thinking they need to thin the hair out. So just be mindful that these are all meant to be here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to carry on blending, but I'm not going to work too hard, to work too hard on that area because when you smooth it and when you look closer, that's actually a vein. Yeah. Do you think we can manage to do popcorn on the other side of his body? I think we can give it a go. Should we yeah. give it a go? Okay, we'll give it a go. Right. Right. Should Maybe do... a couple of funky shapes. Yeah, we'll have a, we'll have a play. But I think first we do this armpit, and I'll show yes. you how to do it. So, so I'm going to give you the Harmony Plus, okay. or you get your one. And what I'm going to do, if you Ready stand oils. this side, I'm going to stand this side. And because there's two of us, I'm going to pull this leg forwards. And I'm going to, and it, can you see how much hair I've shown? Oh my gosh. This is the best way to get all that tickly armpit hair. And this is why it's good to have two people clipping at the same time, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. And the person holding the leg must communicate if the horse is going to pull back and they can't hold on to the leg to let the person, like you, get out the way so they don't get a horse horseshoe in there. But in their face. He's quite relaxed, isn't he? Yeah. 
but I will let you know. So if I feel him pull against me, I'll say Harlow move, and then you you'll be protected from knees and feet. So we've turned popcorn round to the unclipped side, unshaved side, and now we're going to have a bit of a play. We're hopefully going to write popcorn all along here, and then maybe do a couple zigzags, horseshoes. Um, yeah, even might try a little mini popcorn. Basically, whatever we can fit on this side of his body, we're going to fit on. He's sniffing his hair like me. That's from me. Yeah, it's from you on one side. <laughs> what we have done this is the finished masterpiece we've got popcorn all the way down from his neck to his bum bum imagine doing dressage with this we should actually do it though When you're clipping the head, Harlow, you've got to remember now that it's law and in all FEI sports, that's been near enough for everything, that you leave sensory hairs. Sensory hairs are the whiskers and the inside of the ears. Yep. So when you want to do the ears, you have to close the ears like this and you can run the machine down the ear and you can go down to the nose and then when you're using a longer cutting blade, it's much easier to make it look natural. But if you're doing it with a shorter blade, you might have to blend into the muzzle so you don't touch these. So these, both the ears yeah. and, the, and the whiskers are classed as sensory hairs, so we mustn't yeah. touch them in all competitions. Okay. And when you're doing the eyes, sometimes people like to cover them so you don't get hair in their eyes, and sometimes horses feel a little bit less stressed when you've got such a bit like a big machine when it's up close. But the popcorn's very chilled out about He's it. very chilled. You just have chilled. to be very gentle, and it's much better to use a trimmer or a small machine when you're going around the eye and have a very, very steady hand. Such a soft little brush. Perfect for getting the hair after whiskies. At the end, you can use a nice baby wipe to wipe that all off if you want, or wait before yes. you hot cloth. So on the front of the head, can you see like when we had back by his flank, he's got those whirls, so his head changes direction. So we've got one at the top, two at the top, and we've got a big one in the middle. Yeah. So when it comes to the head, you have to go against the hair and you turn the clippers down, go down his head, turn the clippers again and go that way and then we have to go up. We have to go all ways to work round the whirl in the middle. It is indeed. You just have to keep changing the direction of the trimmers or your clippers to suit the hair direction on the whirls. Good boy. So now I'm going to get all of these little grease marks off 
This is just from where the dirt has got underneath the fur and it's just got to the skin a bit. Yes. Oh, itch. Be pause. Yes, do you want to... He's like, yes, this, this spot's <laughs> all. Right, you done now? There you go. But yes, carry on, carrying on my sentence. We're gonna use this little, literally, la like a water wipe. Hello. I just get all of the dirt off. So it's got no nasties in it's all. This is not the final step, but we're just gonna do this to do like any of the finishing touches whilst the clippers are still going. And then we're gonna hot cloth him, make him all nice and shiny. This is disgusting. I thought he was a generally a clean pony, but no. No, no, no. I will probably just bring, bring out the inner popcorn. Oops. I can't wait to hot cloth him. It's the best bit in the end. It makes him all and glossy and it gets off all the excess hair that we just removed. So now it is time for hot oiling. Um, I'm very, very hairy. This is the amount of hair that's come off of popcorn. I think we could make a little mattress out of this. Now we've got the MP Gold Oil Hot Oil Gloss. And we've never tried this one before and it smells amazing. I think that's enough. So now we're gonna put the mitt into it and we're just gonna dip it in, soak it a bit and then take it out and then wring it. And then we're gonna put this all over popcorn. So do you know why you're doing that, why you hot cloth, Harlow? It's to get all of the hairs that are still on there, like the tiny weeny hairs like this, to get off their, off their coat. And is it to make them shiny? Yeah, the most important thing is we get all the excess hair off because if we leave the hair on and we, then we put a rug on them, they can become really itchy. And then some horses can get hives from having hair left oh on gosh. them or some react to clip oil. Hello. So it's really important you give them a nice hot wash after you clip to remove loose hair so they don't itch and to remove any excess oil so they don't have a reaction. Oh no, you cannot drink this popcorn. It's also good for adding shine as well if you, you buy a, a hot oil gloss like the MP gloss that you've got there. Millions of hairs. Good. This is a really good time to check over for any injuries that you've shown through clipping, not from clipping and to check for any hair you might have left. Make sure you go right under the belly. Great, and there you have it. A nice, clipped, clean, hot cloth pony. Yes. So this is the rug we've picked out for popcorn and it's really important to rug them up nice and warm after you've clipped them. But yeah, this is his pajamas. He hasn't really been needing to wear pyjamas because his coat was so thick that he was basically wearing built-in pyjamas. <laughs> you definitely found that clipping really relaxing, didn't you? Yes. Second clipping since we've had popcorn. It's gone a lot better. He looks a lot better um, than last time we clipped him. And yes, going to go get your head collar. It's a, it's a head collar. It's not a bridal. It's not a bridal. <laughs> Silly popcorn. We're all a bit tired, aren't we? Yes. Last time we used such a short blade and we didn't really know what we were doing. So we used such a short blade and it looked like he was bald. He's got an itch. It looked like he was bald a bit. So now he looks so much better. He's still got loads of his coat 
and he's still really soft as well. I definitely recommend the blade that we use because if you've got a Palomino, it suits their coat colour and their change so well. Because last time he, he almost looked like a grey, a very, very light grey Cremello kind of looking. But now he definitely, you could definitely tell he's a Palomino because he's still got that face and his legs look a lot better. At the end of this video, we'll pop up all of the items and clippers and the blades that we used and I definitely recommend them all to you. We'll put a link down in the description as well. So Popcorn is all tucked up in his pyjamas, he's all in his bed and I think he looks absolutely amazing. I'm super, super proud of how it turned out and thank you so, so, so much to Liveryman for coming all the way down and clipping popcorn. It has been so, so exciting and I've enjoyed it so much. Popcorn definitely enjoyed that clipping session as well. I think he spent the majority of it sleeping. And I also hope that all of you guys learned some stuff today and found it very, very helpful. I need to go have a shower now. I'm itching everywhere you can itch. But yeah, I'm itching all in the, underneath there. I'm not even gonna bother rolling to back down my sleeves because I know it's just going to be itch He's a, He's itchy as well, he's sneezing. And I have a huge, huge announcement that me and Olivia Moon are doing a huge giveaway where one of you lucky ducks will be winning all of the clippers, blades, everything that we've used today and we're giving it away. And we're also giving a little bag of popcorn hair as well. So you have a little bag of popcorn hair all to yourself. It is a prize that you cannot buy. You are going to own your own a little bit of popcorn hair. It'll be about like that big. Do not miss this incredible prize. It will be over on my Instagram now. So go and head over and enter it because it is a prize that is absolutely amazing. So here it is all bagged up. Someone is gonna win a bag of popcorn hair. I get the popcorn approval. Yes. Yes, yeah, got a bit of slob on it as well. But yeah, just get the bit of floor on it. Yes. This is the bag of popcorn hair that one of you will be winning. It's got a bit of popcorn main, popcorn hay, a bit of popcorn slobber. Guys, you cannot miss out. Head over to my Instagram now, and we'll see you all in the next video. Bye.